Hi there, my name is Mauricio Allegretti, I'm the CTO, Chief Technical Officer of WebWave Internet. It's an enterprise that is dedicated to Windows Phone 7 application development. And today I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a little demo of our Porto Xbox application for Windows Phone 7. Porto Xbox is the largest community of uh, dedicated uh, to Xbox consoles in Latin America and the biggest uh, Portuguese speaking community of Xbox in the world and our goals with this applications was with this Porto Xbox application was to bring the experience that a user uh, can have with all the data that it can that he can get from Porto Xbox uh, to his cell phone in a way that he can he can get fast access to all the news and the stuff that really matters in the forums and in our database of games uh, of Xbox 360 games. So it's based on a panorama concept and in each of our main channels we have uh, a kind of information, some kind of information about Xbox. In our main blade we have the news and all other uh, topics of interest that is uh, in Portox Box people uh, they, they pin topics in the forums and these pinned topics they get to the front page so here we have a list with all these topics and in fact it links to the, the to the to the new itself to the top forum itself so we, here we have the possibility that we can click on each of these items and then it comes a, a full HTML browser where the, 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 the user can uh, can get to the new and if it, if it has uh, pictures and images all of this he can browse here he can use a pinch and click or double click in, the, in this case I'm using them later so he can get uh, to this to this new and in our second blade we have uh, the the recent released games and each of this game it has a detailed page where people can get to the average score where people uh, people on the forum they 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 start to to rate these games and people can give it in terms of uh, scores and their own uh, their own comments and some of the, the the games they are linked with with news in the forums and people can again click on this on this news and get to the in this case a mini review of the game and read what the other users thought about the game itself and if the game has images, unfortunately Prince of Persia doesn't have any image in, in this case, but I can get for example to Alan Wake and it's gonna load the game and again here we have the release date, we have the average score, we have the, 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 the topics of interest in the forums and we can get to some images that are loaded for people to get a, a hang of how the, the, the game looks uh, of course it's oriented in landscape way but people can browse these images that comes directly from the website and that this, these images are uploaded by the users uh, themselves so when they upload these images to, to, to the website it comes to the uh, Windows Phone application in an automatic way and we have in this case it's linked to my own uh, gamer tag in case it's M Allegretti PXB and here we have the last games that I've played in my uh, in my game gamer tag so I can get to this recent games and get a, a, a fast way to, to show these games. In this case it's about the Arkham Asylum game of the year and we have uh, one entry for each of the games. So we have one entry for Batman and one entry for Batman AA game of the year. Uh, so we have two, two entries 
and we here we have for example that space with all that information that I told you before and we have here another blade that is dedicated to reveals in Portuguese here's analysis but it's reveals and here we have a lot of reveals made by, by our users and again it's automatically uh, it, it's a reveal that was really uh, it's really in the website so people they they write it once and it's available in the website and it's available in the Windows Phone applications and here we have the last blade that is about the marketplace so here we have the last the last items that were available in the marketplace it's it's uh, it's here it's brought here uh, right from the RSS feed from the Xbox Live marketplace and people can get a, a glimpse for where what is what are the, the, the contents that are available and how how much they they have to pay for what's the kind of in this case it's the DLC in, in Portuguese it's conteúdo adicional in fact it's DLC and the size of this uh, of this download so here is the Porto Xbox application it's our proof of concepts for all the things that we, we think about uh, in in this kind of applications of panorama applications and we have another projects going on for our other other websites and other content generators and I hope we can I hope you like it and I hope uh, we can have another kind of applications so thank you